man. So that's real. And then with Trump, like I look at, um, I just think he do some of the stuff that I always thought. Like for example, why do we have to be in everybody else's business? Like, why can't we just fucking focus on America? Y'all niggas need to start handling your own shit. We need to take care of the inside the house. Man, I, man, I, I feel that. I do feel that. I feel that. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I feel that to a certain extent. Same because I have, been, I have been to Afghanistan. So it's like, man, like, why are we here? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this don't make no sense. At the time, it was like, y'all making good money. But you really think about it, like, a lot of people losing their lives. Like, why, why are we here, right? But then the whole the whole Trump with the wall thing, man. Like, I ain't gonna lie, fool. Like, I'm 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 Afro Latino, right? So my both my parents Panamanian, I'm yeah. black. So you know, like, you know, Mexico's like it's like that's like the homes, man. <laughs> you know I, I got you. I, I don't agree with the policy. Yeah. I just like the balls that he got to say, yo, because she's probably one of the only presidents I've ever seen say. This is what I'm going to do and actually see him try to do it. As stupid as hell as the wall is, yeah. he's doing everything he can yeah. to make this wall happen. Yeah, he tripping, but yeah. You know, <laughs> like, I don't agree with this shit. Yeah. Just like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, hey, all these countries, they owe us money. Y'all ain't, you know what I'm saying? We tired of holding foot in the bill for y'all. Y'all need to pay up. So he just started pulling out of treaties. Fuck y'all. Y'all need to start paying what y'all owe. You know what I'm saying? He just pull out of like, yo, there's some gays. Like, I wish he had, like, I wish Obama had a, a little bit of that ignorant yeah. that Trump had, because I love Obama. Yeah. Obama was just a little too cool. I think he, he was, had to be. But I wouldn't know Obama, like, the low key, like that last term. Yeah. Ain't shit they can do to you now. So, yeah, he's turning up. <laughs> Bro, it should have been super bomber, like, fuck y'all niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Do this shit or we fucking y'all up. Trump straight up be like, hey, we spent over $40 trillion. We got some big toys. Don't make me fucking use them because I'm ready to let these boys go. Yeah, nah, that's crazy, bro. Man, Trump, Trump be putting niggas on notice. I can't yeah. vote for him. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I can't tell you what none of his policies are. Yeah, nah, he ain't but, getting no play. But that, that's just something about that aggressor in him a little bit made me like it until we go to war and... Yeah, man, that war, yeah. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie, that war shit's a different breed, man. Like, I remember I remember when I was out there, like I said, I was a contractor, so I wasn't outside the wire or nothing like that. But I just remember, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, they would get, uh, we'd get RPGs and bombs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We would come to the base. I just remember, like, having to wake up 2 in the morning, 4 in the morning, go to these bunkers, you know what I'm saying? Seeing soldiers come out, some not coming back. Damn. This is like, man, like, I, like, I don't understand, like, war, I get it sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you have to go to, but it's like, man, it's, if it had nothing to do with us. <laughs> Why? You know what I'm saying? Why? Like, a lot of people, a lot of people be losing their lives, you know what I'm saying? And not even just that, bro, but like, you know, like, war breaks up families, bro. Yeah, they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think, you sending people gone, sending people out a year or two years at a time, that same person's not coming back. That's real. You know what I'm saying? And then the people at home, their lives don't stop either. You know what I'm saying? What was that commute like going into Afghanistan? Because being that you was in a base yeah. for the most part, but you had to get to that base. Yeah, man. So we flew, uh, so I'll tell you, so from uh, from Dallas to Atlanta, Atlanta to Dubai. Dubai is where you process at, so big chilling in Dubai, man. Then Dubai, you fly to um, Kandahar, Afghanistan in a regular plane. And then once you get to Kandahar, Afghanistan, they, they tell you which five you're going to in, Af in Afghanistan, and then you get on um, military helicopters, and they fly you around in military helicopters. They also have private jets, too, depending on your destination. I got you. So, like, when I was going from uh, Kandahar to Bagram, it was, like, another big base. We was, like, in a regular—it was in the C-130, like a big Army plane. Okay. Then from there, I went to a smaller base called uh, Sharana. Then we got on the— uh, the helicopter that kind of opens up in the back, had the two joints at the top. Yeah. You get on that joint, that takes you to Sharana. Then when I got to Sharana, I had to go help another base, a small base. We took a PJ for that. So like eight people on that joint. Damn. I'm like, man, it's crazy. But sometimes you gotta take the PJ for like the quick, fast, you know what I'm saying, you gotta get there. Then the the, the helicopters, man, they do that for kind of like the long hauls because they got the gunner there, you know what I'm saying, just in case if, you know, they gotta pop off. If, yeah. You know what I'm saying, cause they shooting them RPGs like it's nothing. I remember waking up, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm waking up. I'm having to go to these bunkers. And I'm like, man, like, 
you know, that's a whole different type of prayer when you in like. Damn, like for real, this is going Yeah, down. like I just want to make it home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I just, just want to make it home, bro. But I got blessed though, man, because after my first four months there, man, I went to a base that it was no action. But that first four months for me, man, I was, I was, I was like, man, I was questioning everything. But the same thing is too, like, when you make 80, over 86,000, 86,000 a year is is tax free when you're over there. Okay. Anything over 86,000, you're taxed on. But you had to be out of the state for like 30 days. Okay. So if I would have went over there and quit before my year, I would have been taxed crazy, you know what I'm saying, for making Damn. more than 10,000 a month, basically. You know what I'm saying? What, did you ever have any run ins or any interaction with the locals out there? Yeah, so man, the cool thing is, bro, I had like 20 locals that worked for me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And to be honest with you, that's why I stopped eating pork when I was out there. You know what okay. I'm saying? I'm not Muslim or anything, but like, I just got it real cool. My locals, they, you know, saying they talked to me about religion, about how the pig is the most filthiest animal. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and um, you know, we should stay away from it. Tell me, like, you know, about how they pray all the time. And, um, you know, and it, it kind of opened me up too, man, as far as like, uh, it's like how men treat men too. You right. know what I'm saying? Because over there, I'm not gonna lie, they're a little too friendly with men, with with, with men. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they're like, that's my that's my brother. Like we survived a lot of stuff together. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we look at it as like, man, you funny, but they look at it as more like, yo, this is like my brother. Like, you know What I, you mean like they a little bit too friendly? Like, so like men hold hands over there. Ah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like men hold hands over there and, okay. and, and stuff like that. Like I'm not all with that, but it just you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, super masculine out here. Yeah. It's like, yo, why you holding that man's hand? You're like, you're like, man, it's my brother. You know, I love him. And then he was like, but you know, I'm like, I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Hell, I don't get it. Like, why you holding that man's hand? But um, it's just like, it just opened my eyes to a lot more like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just how they how they view life. And another thing is too, man. Like, they travel miles upon miles to get a job that doesn't pay nothing to support their family. And they never really get to see their family, bros. And I'm like, that's the, that's the occasion, that's the casualty of war that, you know what I'm saying? They getting paid, which is, a, I guess we'll say a lot to them, but it's like $3 a day, honestly, to do a lot of work. And they, they can only go home once a year to see their families, bro. Damn, so like, what's their views of Americans then? I mean, I mean, they, get, they see a little TV, so they think everything's big and famous. They ask you like them dumb questions, like, you know 50 Cent? <laughs> I don't know if 50 said fair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like they they the, the local super cool, man. I remember like um I told them I was going home and they, you know, they made they got me like some traditional Afghani wear for my daughter. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course I had to make sure I had to wash the shit out the hell before I put it on her. Right. Man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just the thought. I like, yo, I, I appreciate that, man. So I would like get them little stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like um uh, whenever I could, you know what I'm saying, like food and stuff, cause like they wasn't they would have to bring like their bread from their village and stuff, man. But we over here got a whole defect right. eating good. So I'm like, man, just give these men some food. You know what I'm saying? So They like, hell no. Nah. Yeah, I'm like, man, shit. I, I ran a defect over there, so I was like, man, we just going. Has you know. any of them people that's ever flipped, low, like come to find out like they? I mean, not where I was at, but with this stories, yeah, this stories, cause the thing is, so like at the end of the day, they have to leave the base, right? So when they leave the base, they walk to like another village to where a lot of them stay at while they're working over there. Yeah. But they got but between that base and that village, they're they're subject to get hit by um what is it called over the there? Borders or something. Nah, what what is it? Uh, Taliban. Ah. So the Taliban be outside them gates waiting on them, <laughs> and then they'll pick them off. Like you know what I'm saying? They'll either Damn. kidnap them or hit them up for like some intelligence. You know what I'm saying? Like what's going on in there? You get what I'm saying? So some of them will come back on the base, be like um. Be like, I, I can't take, like, we'll give them stuff, like, I can't take it home, Taliban, Taliban, Taliban. So, you know what I'm saying? They will leave stuff there because, you know, if they leave with stuff, Taliban knows that they working with us. Yeah. And then they, they taking them out. You know what I'm saying? So. Damn. Yes. Yeah, so I, feel, I feel bad for them dudes, man. The ones that were solid, it's like, man, that's, that's real. You see it on TV, but then when you really get out there and start beating them, it's like, man, like, some of them don't want to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? They don't want no, no parts of that.